today we are going to install the Mishimoto oil baffle and the Miata ND. And as you can see, there's a lot of, there isn't a lot of space to work around, so I need to take some things apart. Starting off with the suspension strut. So we'll remove that. And then remove this vacuum just to make some space. this on the side for now and now the hard part of removing the current connection oh that came out pretty easily so this part goes into the engine this part goes into the manifold and now we're gonna put in the new parts. So per the instruction manual it said that the Mishimoto labeled end of the hose goes into the baffle but as you can see here there isn't one on this tube and on this tube. However what you can see is that these two ends of this tube are slightly bigger than these two. And so what we'll do first is install this tube that goes into the intake manifold. All right, so it looks like what needed to be done was there were two sides of the hose. There is this side of the hose and this other side and as you can see one's a little bit fatter than the other and it's a lot easier to put in the back of the engine and the manifold with the bigger end if you could look at the size comparison with the previous tube you'll notice that the smaller one is a little bit too small and the bigger size actually fits. All right, so I got them in. I'm rechecking to make sure that they're snug. And now it's time to put in the bracket. All right, so we're here. We've installed the tubes that go from the intake manifold and the one for the engine. We've connected our oil baffle and the tube and we fed it down into the wheel well and so we are at almost the final stages so the 90 degree tube goes on to the end section while the straighter tube that's connected to the engine goes into the out. So 
of what I need to do. Make sure that all of this stuff fits in neatly. But at this time, what I'll do is reconnect the vacuum line. Since I'm already done with the back side. Only because I need to start the car so I can turn the wheel on. Alright, so where we're at now is we're connecting the oil baffle itself to the strut. And that pretty much concludes that part. Uh, the other part of the, that goes underneath is relatively simple. Just connect the little valve looking thing and get it all connected.